stream. Uh, like I said, we will be using one of the Walking Dead. Uh, Gita underscore Gita on Twitch got me motivated to start playing it again. It's been years since I played it, so we are back to streaming The Walking Dead. Uh, we did play episode one earlier, now we're on episode two. And we're going to jump on in. It's going to be a, a pretty lengthy episode. If I'm mistaken, this one takes a couple hours. Like two, three hours. So, dude, if you ain't ready, buckle in, get your snack, get your drink. I know who you bitch. are. She know who he is. Oh, I got oh, another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. <laughs> Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. You watch. You wash your ass, Lee. It's time to wash your ass, brother. Three months later. Okay. So kind of a little time jump. Hold on, I'm posting a tweet as we're doing this. A little bit of a time jump. So. We still have the axe after three months? Damn. Guess that axe is fucking durable, brother. Save lots? Was always that said on the shirt? What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. <clears throat> Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it, if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. Yeah, I guess we'll That's see. That's true. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. He thinks I'm a danger to the group, and Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? <clears throat> uh, knock me flat. It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. 
Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Well, then why'd you shoot? Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay, we're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help you. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Was he bit? Bitten? No, I swear. Hurry, please, hurry. <laughs> Lee, the strap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Yeah, I woke the whole forest. It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Just wanted to chop off your leg, big guy. Lee, do something to cut you out. No, no, no. Try the trap again. Anything, please. Try to get the chain. Sorry, brother. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, my lord. Sorry, big guy. It has to be now. Tourniquet it or something. Shit. Is he? He passed out. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Oh, I whistled before she did. <laughs> Doing. Come on, come oh on! My God. I thought Katja just walked up to it, but like didn't what help us at all. What's going on? We don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee, I, I don't know. Lee, 
What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. We left the other one behind. Other one? Jesus, Lee. What if there are more of them? What if they followed you here? There wasn't anybody else. Just us. How do you know he's not lying? Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here. Welcome to the see family, what I son. Do. Wait, what? No, I. Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn <clears throat> decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Look, once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own, I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You know what? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. Well, no, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. I mean, we just came back from hunting. We know, bro. You gotta sit on the fucking RV. Alright, so we have 10 hungry people. We're gonna give the kids, kids first. Even if the kids are kind of like dead weight, right? Children are kind of dead weight in these situations. Um, first we're gonna give it to Clem. How you doing, Clementine? Clem is priority. Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. We'll give it to Clem. Clem will be for me and her. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Let's give her crackers and cheese. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we then get some food? Alright, Duck. And then I was hey, gonna duck. do Duck next. How about a little food? Let's give him some... Here. Let's give him crackers and cheese yeah. to both kids. Oh man, I'm so hungry. Um... Man. No, we're gonna give it to Carl... Want Carly. Have an apple. Give an apple. God, I used to eat an apple every morning with some granola and six almonds, and that wasn't enough even then. But you know what? Yes. Uh 
Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. As much as you know, I'm gonna give it to Lily too. She deserves it. She does. She yeah. does the hard calls. I don't want anything from you. Take it anyway. You need to eat. This doesn't change anything. Well, that's it. Not so Can you appreciate dad, me feeding it? Duck? Larry appreciate me feeding his daughter. Unfortunately, he didn't get to eat when he was one with the food, but you know anything. what? I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice, but you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Thanks, Kenny. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. We just came back from hunting, bro. You're safe in the camp. The only reason why I gave Lily some is be and Carly because she's a dead shot, and Lily because she's on lookout right now. Yeah, building the wall is going to be a pain in the ass, but still. You guys are still safe behind the wall. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there. Having to cut that guy's leg yeah. off. Yeah, I just hope Captain can save him. Sorry, there's, there just wasn't enough food to go around. I understand. Gotta be hard to make those decisions. Just get me next time. Yeah, next round, all you, well, brother. pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, and Mark, Mark asked for it. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. And what are you going to do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Ken, Lee! Come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Kaja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Ass. Oh, brother. Let's go this way. Oh, son. Move, move. Ah, shit, it's stuck. Hell of me.
You okay? Yeah, thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! You said he wasn't Your heart, bitten! Brother. What? We asked you point blank, was he bitten, and you said no! He wasn't! Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, n neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If, if y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, food why don't you bait. and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Kenny keeps us motivated. He believes in hope and knows how important it is for us not to give that up. I can't fault him for that. Or maybe you just don't want to be in charge. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? Somehow, I ended up getting locked in one of the commissary stores. You know what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before <coughs> things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh... I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. 
Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. And are. you guys were keeping it There's up. There's only two of them. Oh, no. There's yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Jesus! Asshole! The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good <clears throat> They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got <clears throat> and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. 
And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us Hi. out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? Yeah. If anyone tries to fuck with us, they'll regret it. Well, protecting your people is important, but in my experience, having that many guns around is when people get dangerous. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Yeah. Like us. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on. Looking for the people they lost contact with. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. Never know. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Looks like he's stuck. Looks like he's stuck. Look like he's stuck. Look like he's stuck. Disgusting. Was the arrow? Was he? Oh, the arrow was in the post. Okay. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? A fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. These folks are just delaying the inevitable. This place is gonna fall apart, just like everywhere else. Maybe you're right. There's another one. I see it. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ, I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. 
Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Little help here, Lee? Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. <laughs> what the? Get to the gate! Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With a fence on that gate, it's our only way out. Now there you are, boy. <laughs> what about us, <laughs> man? Did you really think you'd fuck with us? No fuel. Get down! We're not the St. John's! Come on, if we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! They're on the move! Shit, that hurts. Get closer! I can do this all day! How to get one of you? You assholes! You assholes deserve to die! What happened? Oh, shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move it. It ain't right! We had a deal! Give us the food! Where do you think I you're going? I got one of you! Shit! Get closer! Uh, another one? How many of those things did we push you down? Fuck with us! Now we'll take what we want! I see him! Behind the tractor! We didn't deliver the good! Now we're gonna take one too! So we got arrows and a walker. Crawler, yes. Let's get out of here. Give us the food. You lucky sons of bitches. Go ahead and run. We ain't going nowhere. What's wrong? Uh, the electric uh, fence came on. Some people started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between them and the fence. Holy shit, are, are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out, but god damn it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. 
Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. <laughs> Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, <laughs> she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope you kids like swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Mm. Oh. <sighs> I might as well go to the bandit camp. Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So, are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah, it'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. I guess maybe I should have talked to Clementine before I headed out, but... See anything? Not yet. I figured her and Duck would be having fun. I don't want to chime that in. I know it's around hotel. here. It's got to be close. You found it? See anybody? Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently. Some soup. 
Nothing but fumes. Shit. Save lots. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. <clears throat> the first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <laughs> I'll pass. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid-sized. Empty. Empty. No camera? Or recorder? iPod? Camera. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Of a mom and her daughter. Okay. So that's the camp. Oh, man. I'm wondering if the little girl got gotted because there's blood all over her little bunny. Let's climb the hat. Hell? Don't you fucking move. Shit! Oh, Put there's your a woman. Guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Why are you alone up here? What happened to you? Well, that's a hell of a question, mister. They told me I'd be safe with them men who lived here, but it weren't safe. Not for me, and not for my girl. They didn't treat her nice, not at all. They took her away into the woods, wouldn't tell me where, and I begged them every way I could think. They just laughed, <laughs> so I killed them, and I'm staying here till she comes back to me, one way or another. She'll come back. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time, when I asked you, sweet, Put your damn guns down! You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her! So what if I did? You stole her from me. What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for- oh! I'm 
may I assist you? God damn it! Well, thanks. thanks. I guess. Well, you're welcome. I guess. <sighs> it's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Come on. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody, then. Why don't you? Oh, calm down, Princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Kenny got, Kenny got some balls on her, Princess. Squabbling, looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Kenny got some balls on her, Princess, though. Uh, don't mind them. It's how they are. Each of them wants to be in charge, you know? Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. We all get a little testy. We'll fix that shortly. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. Think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling. Is Duck still on the swing or is he fucking around? Hello. Hello. Glad I got to use her today. My girl here. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too, or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. You really like that guy. What's not to like? Uh. It's just a gun. That's where you're wrong. This is Charlotte. She's as faithful as a starving hound when you got a bone in your pocket. Man, it's a boner in his pocket. You guys for me? are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. That storm is starting to roll in pretty heavy. That thunder is getting really loud. Rolling Thunder, though. Am I allowed to stoop through shit? I think the pinzas? Just gonna borrow this for a second. Cool. If a couple of tools out of the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor inn. 
bet they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. At least they are just surrounded by fucking trees, like, they pretty much have unlimited wood. But it would cover their shelter as well, the trees are kind of their cover. And with the bandits around. Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? We found a tent and some boxes. Nothing really useful. Seriously? No food? Jesus. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. So, he's the asshole. Look, my dad can be an <laughs> ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost... pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. You know, honestly, I really do like Lily as a character. Um, yeah, she can be a bitch and, like, really stuck up and rude, but at the end of the day, she really... She's military trained. She's... Putting away the emotion, putting away the extra bullshit, and just doing like, hey, this needs to be done, we're doing this, that's how it's gonna be. Do you get the feeling something's going on here? What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, it's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know what you mean. These backwoods people always give me the creeps. If you ask me, <laughs> we should just get our dinner and leave. Come on now. We don't want to be rude. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Fair. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here, and we don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Like Lily, honestly, is a is a is a good character. My first time ever playing through, she kind of pissed me off a little bit. But now that I'm older, I kind of realize where she's coming from. Her dad, her dad will always be an asshole. I, he's he's not justified in any way, shape, or course. Lily's at least reasonable. She's not always fucking angry and yelling. It's okay. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Bro, I love fucking cows. Cows are so Whoa. good. Like cows. Katya cows says are, cows Mabel could have a baby tonight. Animals. We'll see, Clementine. I'm honestly a big fan of like What's stock life thing? in general. Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? No. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm mood. The feel when the kid doesn't want to lie, but is lying. I know this is so stupid because this isn't the only game with a barn, but for some reason these this barn setup is reminding me of Friday the 13th. 
you found it too, huh? Leave oh, the windows I used to jump through running from door. fucking Jason. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Kachi. And he's my What's man. He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is, we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something, and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look <laughs> at what we're dealing with first. Uh, I'm not gonna take the lock apart. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're... you know... urban? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm. You know what, Kenny? I'm gonna I'm let it slide. See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. So just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Hey, guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. How about fuck your mama, bitch? Like, that, the sentence is so weird. Like, mama gets nervous. Like, your mama ain't even out there. She in the kitchen. Why would she be tripping on the barn door? <laughs> so, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Larry want to get some pussy. Larry trying to get some. Worry about it. There you go. Ow! Damn it! The thing is moving fast. There. That should do it. Fucking Danny, where'd he find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing threw a belt. Damn it, all. Ah, oh, son of a fuck. Oh, this take forever. Hey, throwing a belt ain't no fucking joke, though. My dryer threw a belt. And I just kept rebanding it to fucking make it work. Well, my old dryer before we, before I bought finally bought a new one. But woo wee, I'll tell you, I would have to crawl underneath the fucking dryer. I would have to uh, disassemble the, in there? the dryer and then crawl underneath. Careful, and don't re-band. Even when I got used to doing it, because the band would fucking constantly throw. Hey. My fastest reassembly time was like 30 45 minutes. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No, 
Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Little cow. Little cow. That's the dinner bell. Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. You want me to do one by one, brother? Dinner time. Why was there so much blood in there? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still got to do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. Oh, <laughs> Brenda, you are wow. an angel. Oh, Excuse me, miss. We had to block the back door after Walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now, don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Well, something strange in the neighborhood. Well, my thing is, like, wouldn't they all be talking amongst themselves? And so, like, you would be able to hear, like, a dull roar. No one's just going to sit there and silent as she's getting the food. Like, they were all talking prior to. You would be hearing a roar. Fuck, a little, ca a little cable. Disconnected cable with that. Got a little light. What the hell? Little people. So it'd be the room. The blood on the floor, you see that? Rosie was shot in the leg. What the hell? The hell? Brothers. What the hell happened to your legs, man? Don't eat. 
dinner. <laughs> Skedaddle. I'm down that stairs, Lee. We gotta skedaddle. Clementine! No! Uh -huh. <laughs> Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Aw, oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee, what's gotten into you? He just had to Doc just ate They could use some goddamn manners. You're eating human? Meat. That's crazy. What the hell? Okay. I'm scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. Go upstairs and look. You'll find a guy with both of his legs hacked off. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. You're all sick. Sick in the head. Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Clementine, run! Nobody's going anywhere. We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? The fucking black Put fuck. your guns down! We're walking you out of go here! Near my fucking Mommy, family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Somebody do something! Lee? Lee? Hey! I'll kill you! Did God damn it! If you hadn't dragged your feet, come on, Dad. Now's not the time. You okay, Clementine? They—they they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up, Lee. Those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker. We gotta get the fuck out of here. This goddamn thumb sucker was the one who brought us here. Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. You're worse than the walkers. Dad, please. You're worse than the walkers. Please settle down. I'll, I'll break that damn door down. Dad, you can't get... Uh, uh, Easy. Uh, oh, God. Dad? <laughs> no. Dad, come on. Dad! Oh, God. He stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead! Somebody help me! Fuck. If he's dead... He's not dead! You know what has to happen, Lee. Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. 
but in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, 300 pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! We'll mourn him later, but right now we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He is not dead! Maybe you're right. No, god damn it! My dad survived worse than this! Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee, I'm right about this. I know you've got my back. You always do. God damn it, Lee, I need you! Please help me! Come on, Dad. Come on. I don't know, I rock. I fuck with Kenny, because Kenny fucking with us. Let's get this you over. You fucking monsters! Both of you! I don't want to see! I'm sorry, Lily. No, no, no! It's the only way. <laughs> get off me! Don't do this! No! No, no, no! Don't let go of me! No! Please! God help us. I'm sorry. I Don't know you it. fucking touch me! Clementine. Clem. You okay? Why, Lee? Lily said he wasn't dead. He, he was dead, Clementine. But what if he wasn't? He was, I, I promise. <laughs> Shh. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else. Something hopeful. Like what? Getting out of here. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. Lily, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't talk to me, Lee. Don't fucking talk to me. You've got to pull yourself together, Lily. Why? For your sake? So you can feel better about... about what you did? For your own sake. Right. Because you fucking care so much about me. Girl, we do, though. Like... There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. I don't know, Lee. Seems like a long shot. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock will uh -huh. help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Mm -mm. It's not coming off that way. Get away. I just need to. I told you to get the fuck away. Why can't you just leave me alone? I'm sorry, Lily. But if we're gonna get out of here, we need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here, but I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry... Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. In other words, my father's more useful to you dead than alive. If he was alive and had the key to getting us out of here, do you think he'd keep it to himself? What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. That's what we have to do, girl. It's not like we want to. Nobody wants oh, to lose him. Okay? 
Any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? You fucking vulture! A ring. My mother's. Don't worry, I'm not taking it. Here we go. Two quarters. And a dime. And that was the Georgia Peach fucking quarter two. Just gotta remember. Said sixty cents. And get this unit off. <laughs> and there's the Georgia quarter he's using. <laughs> you got it? Yeah. One more should do it. Crazy how in scenarios like this, currency just becomes nothing but a tool at most. That's our way out, Lee. Something to burn. Bullets for shotguns. Clementine can fit through. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. For a buster get. You uh, think you can do this? I'm scared. It's okay to be scared. We need you, Clementine. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. I feel like Lily could have made fat. I mean, fit in there, fat in there, <laughs> fit in there. Because he has military training, she knows how to military crawl too, so. But obviously, she ain't moving right now. She ain't leaving her okay. papa. Did anyone see you? No, but there's a man outside. Lily, you gotta go. Leave me alone. Lee, I can see him. It's not safe in here. For God's sake, Lee. Didn't even get to say goodbye. Get in here. I got an idea. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. Oh, you better say goodbye quick, bitch, because we got to go, Miss How. Don't you know? We've got to move. There was something up with this room. It's a goddamn human slaughterhouse. Hey, hook. Saw. Mini. I don't know. A taser? <clears throat> okay, we got a taser. I take all the weapons. Oh, I put the prod back. Now nah, I want to taste this motherfucker. I'll taste this boy in his nuts. Damn, Clementine came down right next to. It. Oh no, she didn't hit the saw. Okay, I thought she would have hit the saw. What's the plan? That dumbass is so caught up in his own rant that we could probably sneak right up on him. Just stick behind me in case anything goes down. When we get to the front, grab his gun. Sounds good. Okay, you ready? Yes, sir. Yeah, let's go. Stay close. Why doesn't Kenny have a weapon, though? Like, I should have the, Kenny should have like the sickle or the hay hook, and I should have the taser. Is it bullshit? Danny do this, Danny do that.
Dad, what are you doing outside the barn? Oh, shit. Just guarding the place, like you said. We've been sitting out in the rain like a damn deer, though. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Pick one to keep and kill the rest. Can I pick which one to keep alive? Not the kid. Not enough meat on the tray. Oh, I know, Mabel. This is Tell me what's going on. Too. When I let one think they can just walk right out, <laughs> they never even look down. What's he doing? He's laying a bear trail. Where is he? Mama. Oh, he's okay. He did have a weapon. Oh. <laughs> Where's my family, asshole? You can't have them. We need the vet. No. Can't. Lee, come on. Just go. I won't be far behind. You see, you understand now, don't you? You can have me. It's how the world works now. Give part of yourself so others can live. Mark never volunteered to be food. You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're already tainted. You ain't gonna kill me. Just like he didn't kill Jolene. You don't have one. No! God, no! Katja! Just go. I'll keep Clementine safe. At least take his gun or some shit, dude. Kitty! as we were coming up to the house. They attacked us! I knew it. I told you we couldn't trust them. Shit. How many of them are there? Two left. Where? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us. Shit. Is everyone else okay? They've still got Duck and Katja in the house. And I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right. We're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. Ben, stick close. And Lee, be careful. Well, why didn't Lee grab his rifle, bro? Charlene or Charlotte, whatever the fuck her name is. No, no, Lee, no, no, no! Bro wanted to shove that fuck, no, shove his no, dick down no, the fucking no. barrel of that fucking rifle. Oh, no. Thought he would have shoved that rifle up his ass. Go, woman. Settle down. I don't want to hurt y'all. 
Andy? Danny, is that you? What's going on out there? I left Danny in the bar. He got what he deserved. About what you're doing. It doesn't have to end like this. A killer, Lee. Just let me go. Stay back! Don't do anything stupid! I'm not. Let her go, Brenda. Please, listen to him. Don't make this any worse. Just stop! Somebody gotta catch you. Ah! Ah! They took Doug! Where's Teddy? I said don't move, asshole! Don't you fucking hurt him! Oh my god! Let him go, goddammit! Ah! That ain't gonna happen! Andy, don't! Shut up! Ah! Andy! <sighs> Andy! Who the fuck do you people think you are? Look at what you've done! You brought this on yourself. No, uh-uh, you did this. All we wanted was a little gas to keep ourselves safe. Sock em, bop em. Get up! Get the fuck up! Somebody's gonna get you! Harley's just Lily, chill, I mean, Lou's just chilling with the gun. Uh, Lily said, nah, I'm, I'm good. Uh, hit him with a, 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 uh, hit, him with a, uh, hit left, right, uh, left, right. Uh, that jacket is tight. Run that shit, bitch. Nah, I mean, left, right, left, right. Uh, son, uh, son. Bro's face got deformed before I even hit it. <laughs> he just let me. Oh, yo, his ear split. He split his fucking ear, brother. Lee, that's enough. It's never enough. I beat a man to death before and I'll do it again. Is that all you got, Lee? <laughs> you ain't shit. 
It's over! Fuck you! As soon as Dan and Mama get out here, you, you all fucked! <laughs> they dead, bitch. They're both dead. What did you do? What the fuck did you do? Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! Get back here and finish this, Lee! Nah, we walk away. Like a badass. Get bad back ass. here and fight me like a man, Lee! We already did, bitch. You whooped your way. Lee! They're getting in! Lee! Let's go. <laughs> hey, Lee. I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but, you know... I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? Yes, ma'am. We should have known something was up. How the hell do we foresee that? Come on, Lee. I don't know. I really don't. Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Yeah. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. <clears throat> How are you doing? I am I'll be fine. Prime. Just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? I'm with you, Kenny. We'll do what has to be done. You're damn right. Listen, that RV back at the motor inn is just about ready. I've changed my mind. I want you to come with us when we leave. Yeah? Hell yeah. We're a team, man, me and you. By taking out Larry before he turned, you saved all of us in that meat locker. And that saved my family, too. Yeah, I'd say you earned it. That's my dog. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, did you have to kill those men? Yes, they were bad men, Clementine. They killed Mark, and they were going to kill all of us. They had to be stopped. Understand? Yes, I think so. Hey, Dad, what's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh, God, not more strangers. It's a car. Got ourselves a little whip. Little whip, little whip. I want to play Killer Clowns, but the, the, the patch comes out tomorrow, so I might as well just wait. Don't shoot! We're here to help! Approach the car slowly. Little whip, little whip.
big. Oh, there's no gas. Oh, crap. Baby, you gotta see oh. this. I was like, who the fuck is this? Load this is the supplies back here. They ain't got no gas. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> Lily, shut the fuck up. Your Look, dad dead, bitch. You don't know if these people are dead. If Man, Ben, back, shut up too, bitch. We're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. But what if it's not? Well, what if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? You take this shit, bruh. Hannah Mons. I had them on. We have to take this, Clementine. If they we cared so much about this shit, they wouldn't have left it abandoned and unattended. Make. Hey, we don't have time for this shit. Like it or not, we need this food. Now get over here and open the trunk, Lee. I mean, we left our hotel, motel, holiday inn. Somebody can come take that shit. Supplies? I'll take it. Supplies, motherfucker. Some fries, motherfucker. Great. Maybe we'll survive this after all. Duck, why don't you carry this? Okay. Okay. More food in here. You got you a know, box of food here. About it, you was real quick to take the box, though, bitch. I'll carry it. Don't trip, Ben. This but I kill you like your your teachers. Why don't you hold on to this? It might get cold. It's not mine. We're not like the bandits, honey. We didn't hurt anybody to get this. Understand? I guess so. I mean, it's true, we didn't hurt anybody. Like, we didn't kill them. They left their car unattended, and that's on them. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, you yeah, can have some, too. Tan. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? You're not gonna <laughs> let me live that down, are you? You're fucking wrecked, bitch. Oh, God. Lee... You're gonna want to see this. Oh shit! Jake, Bart, Linda, and all y'all fucking sickos from the save lots. They call y'all bandits, but you're fucking rapists. Oh, darling baby, look at you. Look at you. Oh, you need a mama, sweetheart. We won't let them bandits get you, will we? No. Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. Sure. When did you lose it? Y'all thinking you're safe? Sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you gotta be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. The people who do. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. I promise. Faux show. All right, we're gonna stop it right there. Um, I'm gonna end the stream right now because I'm gonna upload this vlog to vlog this this vod to the YouTube channel to start documentary documentary our playthrough games. I'm gonna take like a 10 15 minute uh, break to use the restroom, stretch, maybe grab a little snack, and then we will be playing Texas Chainsaw Massacre with Brandon. Um, so I do appreciate anyone watching, and I will see you guys in about 15 minutes.